Hi guys, hi everyone. It's again again Melogis TV, and you all are welcome on Sports with Melogis. And today we're supposed to have a meeting with the new coach. Fika Food invited him, and he was very punctual. He arrived on time, but he was not allowed into the premises of Fika Food because he came with the staff that was imposed to him by the ministry. You know, they said others are coming from above. Now. Fekafu did not allow him to get into their premises. But after some little deliberation between Fekafu and the people that were there, the new coach and his team, Samuel Eto gave the orders for him and his team to be allowed inside. And just barely a few minutes, they made a very quick tour with the left. Before we say something, I want you guys to watch this video. The video right here is a video when they arrived the head of the headquarters of the federation and when they left. Let's watch it together. <laughs> Seriously, this country, is so sweet. this country is so sweet. But I feel like, my, in my own opinion, I feel like the federation was trying to make things work because the fact that they they were able to accept the coach that was imposed to them by the ministry with others from the presidency says the minister they were able to accept the proposed list of players and then Fikafu was even able to add their logo on it the fact that Fikafu was able to post it on their official handle on social media i feel like Fikafu was already at the point of making things work like let's just do this for the sake of football for the sake of the nation Fikafu accepted the new coach but did not accept his own technical team, the ones that are supposed to be working with him. So Fika Food now proposed theirs, gave it to him. We, sh we all were happy that at least things have worked out well. The man should just accept and work with these people. And that's how we were expecting good results. Today, all this going on just showed that there are some people who have decided that there will be no joy when it comes to football. There will be no happiness as far as Cameroon football is concerned. Because all this dragging, this buhaha up and down, we are yet to understand where they are heading to. We have barely few weeks to a game for World Cup 2026 qualifiers. Just few weeks to go. And then all this drama. I don't understand. I feel like this new coach needs to sit down and rethink. You cannot just come to a country and then you are comfortable in the drama. Is it about the money? Is it, is it, is it, does it look like he hits a jackpot with Cameroon? Because the amount of money he's being paid, if you look at his record, his statistics, it shows that he just hit a very big jackpot. That's why he is comfortable in the midst of the drama. Or I don't understand. Because at this moment, I feel like these people want something else from Samuel Eto. If you look at it very well, I know some of you don't like Samuel Eto for your own personal reasons. That even if they ask you, you cannot explain. That's your business. You have every right to like or to hate whoever you choose to. We are all humans. No, the fact that you don't like him, looking at all what is going on, don't you feel like these people are putting too much pressure on Eto? It's like they want something from him. It's like they just want Samuel Eto to resign. But uh, the last time I checked, Samuel Eto resigned and his own technical staff, his, the executive committee did not accept his resignation. They said they want to work with him. What is difficult for these people to just accept that Samuel Eto, being the head of the federation and the entire federation has the right to get a coach. Okay, you brought in a coach. They have accepted your coach. They decide to give you a technical team. And you say no. Are these people not asking for too much? Are they not asking for too much from the federation? 
let's come to think of it because at the end of the day once once things start going wrong they are not going to blame the coach they are not going to blame technical staffs the entire blame will go straight to the head of the federation and those people who are fanning all this will not be there to back it up they'll be like oh he failed he failed oh for two years for four years what did he achieve and all this drama is just to destabilize the entire federation i see so much drama in the future how is this coach supposed to work in a federation where he is not even ready because he's not ready because he has the power to say i don't love this drama let's do it this way it's like he has just become a puppet see until the day we realize that some of these people we choose to come and be head of one or one kind one kind thing like that where they are coming from they never had the amount of money we are paying they forget about all these things we are seeing this call. some of them have not seen one quarter of the money they are being offered when they come to africa so tell me, between you and God and me right now, tell me, a man that has never seen one quarter of a salary of that sort will just let go. He will definitely hold on, grab it, and see that the federation collapse. Because today, if he's fired, they're still going to pay him. He will drag them to court as usual. They'll pay him his money. If a careful decide to fire him, you guys know that. They are going to pay him his money. And that is the deal. That is the plan. They are doing everything possible so that Eto can go bankrupt. Because at the end of the day, that money is going to come from your pocket. You are going to handle it yourself. That's just the game plan. But I just wish at the end of the day, they come to an agreement and do things the right way. Guys, what do you think about all this drama? Do you think it's necessary? Or am I getting, or getting everything wrong? Like I said, that is my opinion. I don't know about you. In the comment section, let's have a wonderful conversation. Thank you all so much for watching. See you all again in my next live video or my next upload. That may again, Melodies TV, the only Melo with the G. You all know, too, no day.